Okay, hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Dave Warner, long guy here. Uh, trying a little bit of a van talk today, not done one of these before. Really what I'm thinking about at the moment is just getting ready for Christmas. So, I think it's the 23rd today of November, so just over a month to Christmas now. And I'm now speaking to my clients about the last cut of the year. So what I've said to all my clients, uh, fortnightly mowing and weekly mowing, is that I will come in the week ending the 15th and I'll give everybody a final cut then. And they'll be in good stead so they'll be looking smart for Christmas and realistically I'm not going to be back in till February so it's about as close as I want to get to Christmas. It gives me a little bit of time to, uh, if we have major washout or, or frosts in that week, what I want to do is um, cut right up until the 22nd I think it is and then you end up with that week being complete frosts and you have to miss a load and then they're not done for Christmas. This still leaves falling down, so you want to keep it as tidy as possible. Um, for any potential other clients who come who are, who are going to visit friends and they see the stripes on the lawn and think, hey, that's really nice, who does your lawn? And then they're going to tell them, they're going to pass on your details. So that's why I try and keep everyone's lawns really good right up till Christmas. So what I'm thinking about now is everybody's penultimate cut. So I've just come from a client's house, so I've just cut their lawn. Uh, if I was to go back in a fortnight's time, that would be uh, Thursday the 7th of, um, of December. And there's no point in me going in a week later. So what I've said to her is I'll, I'll miss the next two weeks and then I'll go in on the, what would be the 14th. So not only am I thinking about when I go in, I'm also thinking about cutting patterns. I always cut my lawns with two patterns in them. What I want is my final cut before Christmas to be the main one. Normally you have a, you know, a quick pattern which is like you're straight up and down and then you might have a presentation stride. So what I'm looking to do is to get the one pattern in which is the real standout one, the one you can see from the road, the one you can see as you look out the house. If it has a, a particular pattern, that's the one I want to do on the last week before Christmas. So as I'm going in now and over the next week mowing people's lawns, I'm just thinking about which is the best stripe and I'm doing the other one. So when I do go back in just before Christmas, I can do that real decent stripe which is going to stand out and be seen all the way through Christmas, New Year and um, as I say into February. I don't know what other people do, whether I totally overthink these type of things. I'd like to know what everybody else thinks and what everybody else is doing. Are some people done now? Is that it? You know, you cut your lawns and, and you're done till the new year or are you going to carry on cutting? Will you carry on till the 22nd? The plan for me is to cut up until the 15th of December and then the next couple of days on the Monday and the Tuesday I want to give all the equipment a big deep clean, get it all winterized, and then get it all packed away because as I say that will be it, it will be sitting there till probably mid-February. Um, I'm off on holiday and got some other stuff I want to get on with. Let me know what you think, let me know what you do. Um, I might be doing it completely wrong, there might be a, a really easy way of how you approach Christmas. If you think this video is any good, give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon.